The killing of five police officers in Dallas has shocked America. Earlier this week, videos were posted online of police shooting black men in two separate incidents in Louisiana and Minnesota. The violence hasn't stopped people from coming out and taking part in other anti-racism rallies. In Baton Rouge, the site of the first police shooting, protesters marched to local police headquarters. They're demanding social justice for black men and they feel singled out by authorities. And in Atlanta, Georgia, hundreds of protesters also blocked the streets to call for justice. They say the black community is unfairly targeted by police because of the color of their skin. And in Phoenix, Arizona, thousands more gathered to show solidarity with the black men killed by police this week, but they were dispersed with pepper spray. Well, Dallas is now trying to recover after the deadly sniper attack. Investigators are still piecing together the events that led to the shooting of 12 officers and two civilians. Five of those officers died. Authorities have identified the suspected shooter as Mika Johnson. The mayor of Dallas, Mike Rawlings, has tried to reassure the public. Johnson, uh, now deceased, was the lone shooter in this incident. And by piecing together uh, what was happening at the time after we talked to all the and interviewed all the officers uh, there was confusion with everybody running around but this was a mobile shooter that had uh, written manifestos on how to shoot and move shoot and move and he did that uh, he did his damage but we did his, our uh, damage to him as well uh, and we believe now that the city is safe and uh, uh, the uh, suspect is dead and we can move on to healing. Well, TRT World's Colin Campbell is in Dallas with more on what's been happening since the first shots were fired. His actions shocked an already tense nation. Now police in Dallas have released the name of the man who they say fatally shot five police officers and injured several others at a protest on Tuesday. He's been identified as 25-year-old Micah Johnson of Mesquite, Texas, a military veteran who'd served in Afghanistan. Johnson's described as a loner and an army veteran who was occupied with racial issues in America. Investigators now say he acted alone. U.S. Attorney General Loretta Lynch, who's assisting in the investigation, condemned the shootings. Americans across our country are feeling a sense of helplessness, of uncertainty, and of fear. And these feelings are understandable, and they are justified. But the answer must not be violence. The answer is never violence. On Friday, police searched Johnson's home, and they say they discovered bomb-making materials, ballistic vests, rifles, ammunition, and a personal combat journal. Police have described their final standoff with Johnson, who told them that he was angered by the recent deaths of black men at the hands of white police officers, and that he wanted to kill white officers in return. Police later killed Johnson using a bomb delivered by a robot. Tuesday's attack is being described as the deadliest single incident for U.S. law enforcement officers since September 11th. وزارت امنیت داخلی آمریکا اعلام کرده عامل تیراندازی دالاس فرد سیاه‌پوست 25 ساله ای است که پیشتر در ارتش آمریکا در افغانستان جنگیده است. حالا امریکا پرچمش را نیمه برافراشته کرده. به پاس خدمات آن پنج پلیس کشته شده که شکار تکتیراندازی حرفه‌ای شدند. تکتیر اندازی که پنج پلیس را در جریان تجمع اعتراضی سیاه پوستان نشانه گرفت که بود؟ نظامی آمریکایی بود که شش سال در افغانستان خدمت کرد. وقتی قبول نکرد بعد از این حادثه تسلیم شود، او را با یک ربات کشتیم. انگار مهمتر از حرفهای رئیس جمهور اوباما که حالا میگوید مردم آمریکا میدونند بی ادالتی و تبعیض نژادی باعث این حوادث شده. مهمتر از این، این ماجرای ربات آدمکش است که پلیس میگوید برای اولین بار از آن رونمایی کرده. جانسون که به دست این ربات کشته شد همان تکتیراندازی است که مدال خدمت در نبرد با تروریسم را از ارتش امریکا دریافت کرده بود. در حالی که تظاهرات در برخی شهرها ادامه داشت من فکر میکنم زندگی ما واقعا در خطره. خبر رسید در جورجیا یک پلیس دیگر هم قربانی تیراندازی شده. این حمله ها به پلیس 
جو پلیسی را به شدت تشدید کرده و اعتراضها علیه تبعیض نژادی را در برخی شهرها به سایه برده شاید به همین خاطر در برخی از نقاط سکوت مطلق است کامران نجفزاده خبرگزاری صدا و سیما نیویورک